The Almost Awful Play by Patricia Riley Giff Illustrated by Susanna Natty When you hear this sound, turn the page. I have a surprise, Miss Tyler said. Is it a party? I asked. With chocolate cake and ice cream? No, Ronald Morgan, it's a play. We'll do it for the whole school. All the children cheered. We marched into the auditorium to see the stage. Miss Tyler said, The name of the play is The Darkest Dungeon. She looked around. First, we need a princess. Me, me, yelled Rosemary. I look like a princess. Miss Tyler nodded. We need a witch, too. I raised my hand, and so did Jan. Jan made a scary, awful face. Jan's the witch, I said. You're right, said Miss Tyler. Maybe I could be the prince, I said, and poked my best friend Michael. Rosemary asked, Do you think you look like a prince, Ronald Morgan? I thought for a minute. Maybe I could be the curtain puller. But Michael wanted to pull the curtain, and so did Alice and Billy. Miss Tyler let everyone try. The ropes were heavy. Michael and Alice could hardly pull them. Jan put a spell on me, and I tripped on the rope. Billy pulled the best. The curtain whooshed across the stage. Miss Tyler said, Perfect pulling, Billy. I'm looking for a prince, Miss Tyler said. Michael will be fine. And Ronald, you can be the cat. Meow, I said in a scared voice. Everyone had something to do. Alice and Jimmy drew posters and Jan and I fixed up her hat. But Alice asked, who ever heard of a pink witch? And Rosemary said, I needed that glitter for my crown. Don't worry, I said. I saved some. I'll help you pour it on. But the bottle spilled and Rosemary cried because Jan's witch hat had more glitter than the crown. Then Michael and I made a cat mask. It was furry and black with whiskers. That's a neat mask, Jimmy said. But Billy said, you forgot to make the eyes. Quickly, I poked in two holes. Oh no, Jan said. One eye is bigger than the other. Now all the kids call me Winky. Michael and I made the dungeon all scary with bars and chains. I put lots of glue on the bars. But the dungeon was a little crooked and Rosemary said, what can you expect from a cat? Then we started to practice. I curled up near Rosemary and smoothed out my long black tail. Watch out, Winky, Rosemary said. You're getting fur on my princess dress. I crawled over a little to get out of the way. Miss Tyler clapped her hands. Watch out, Ronald Morgan, she said. Don't fall off the stage. Jan practiced putting Michael in the dungeon. I was the good cat who gave him the key. I liked the end part best when Michael unlocked the dungeon. Princess, you are saved, he'd shout. Then we'd all line up and sing. At last, it was the day of the play. I put on my cat mask and peeked out of the curtain. Everyone was there. Quickly, I ran to my place. Billy pulled the curtain open and all the children clapped. Tom, the announcer, said, It's time for the darkest dungeon. 
Then Jan said, Ha! 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 In a mean witch voice. She waved her wand and Rosemary fell on the floor. I said a sad meow because the princess was under a spell. Michael, the prince, came out, but he didn't say anything. He kept twirling the feather on his hat. I am the prince, I whispered to help him out. Shh, Rosemary said. You're mixing us up. Everybody laughed. I will save you, princess, Michael said in a little voice. Ha, ha, ha! Jan said. She took Michael by the arm and locked him in the dungeon. I said my second meow. This time it was a worried one. It was time to get the key. I said my brave meow and sneaked the key out of the witch's pocket. Just as I was giving the key to Michael, my mask slipped. I leaned on the dungeon and put my fingers in the mask holes so I could see. The dungeon started to wobble. It was wobbling a lot. Meow, I said in my watch out voice, but it was too late. The dungeon crashed. Some cat you are, Rosemary said. This is an awful play. Everyone was waiting. Someone had to save the princess. I took off my mask and grabbed Rosemary's hand. I'm really a prince too, I said. Princess, you are saved. Then we all started to sing. Miss Tyler told Billy to close the curtain. I forgot to step back and I got caught outside. Miss Tyler came outside too. We have a new star, she said. Ronald Morgan. Everyone clapped. <whistles> Miss Tyler smiled. Now it's time for chocolate cake and ice cream. Then I said my last meow. This time it was a happy one. The end. <whistles>